we are tired of Alabama being 49th and 50th in all the key metrics. We can do better. We are better. A Democrat just won in Alabama. Marilyn Lands defeated Republican Teddy Powell in a special election for the state house yesterday, and it wasn't even close. She defeated him 62% to 38%. The seat became vacant after Republican David Cole resigned following a guilty plea for knowingly and illegally voting in a district he wasn't authorized to vote in. The race garnered national attention as it occurred in the wake of a ridiculous and dangerous state Supreme Court ruling that made frozen embryos qualify as people under the law, which, in turn, threatened the legal access to in vitro fertilization in the state. Alabama already has one of the strictest abortion bans in the country that illegalizes abortion at any stage of pregnancy with no exception. Lands made reproductive rights a cornerstone of her campaign, and she won, handily. Now you can, and many will, say that this is just a special election for a seat in a state legislature, but this is Alabama. This is another in a long list of reasons to believe that Republican and right-wing extremism continues to be a serious liability for them when it comes to electoral success, as it should be. And now we're seeing it pop up in one of the reddest parts of the country.